do you think that Visa and MasterCard would ever get to a place where they felt so pressured by um, cases like this that they would stop processing payments for anything adult related? Well, here's the problem. You always are falling down. This is this is why I mentioned before that Apple, Apple and Facebook a long time ago made that lowest common sexual denominator, the nipple policy. So anything anything beyond showing a woman's nipple is porn, essentially, for them. It's adult. Uh, and then they have to come up with these like weird... They do have like a weird disclaimer now that it's like, well, if it's breast cancer or breastfeeding or it's it's just weird, then you may put it there. There's a very odd carve outs that they have to do because not even that can be the lower bar. Because mm-hmm. once you start pushing the bar, where do you put it? Yeah. I always said I had an I had a meeting with some people very high up on on back then it was called Facebook. It's Meta now, and they did tell me uh, that. You know, well, we're we're active in a lot of places, uh, so we 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 can't have the morality of of California, and they mentioned Saudi Arabia, like like well, we're in Saudi Arabia. I'm like, well, but then should California then have the morality of Saudi Arabia? Like, where do you put the lowest common denominator of what that is? Yeah, and that's the problem that Visa and Mastercard are going to run into. Yeah, like, can you show Michelangelo's David? There is a penis in there. Can you can you? Is the problem that the the people who are banning books in libraries right now? Uh, do do we ban the the Bible? The Bible has tons of like bizarre, messed up sex stuff in it. Mm-hmm. Should we should we then should should be the cut off any mention of sex? That's why they that's why the Supreme Court in 1973 came up with the three point rule, saying that it has to be the majority, the the work as a whole, the community standards, and then the prurient interest. Right. Part. Well. That's being revised right now by a lot of people. And that that could turn into something dangerous. And then you have somebody like, for example, you have like what, what's happening right now with Elon Musk. We're recording this, you know, two weeks, three weeks after he purchased Twitter. And the way he's been tweeting about content moderation shows that any of the like fine-tuned debates about content moderation that have happened over the last 30 years, he knows nothing about them. It's just some rich dude who bought a new toy and he's spewing stuff that everybody's rolling their eyes who's in this sector, in the content moderation sector, because it's like, yeah, he's just talking like a five-year-old child that that has not been through like 40 years of trying to figure out how not to destroy free speech, break things, not allow people to communicate about sexuality in any way, endanger LGBTQ people. Like these are all issues that have been covered in the debate of what do we do about the depiction of sexuality online. Mm-hmm. And then he's coming in and he just wants us to relitigate everything based on these like odd notions, which will lead to censorship at some point. If he continues down some of these paths, they will directly lead him to censorship that people have pointed out now and again. And so that is the problem with Visa Mastercard. Once you start putting the bar, like we're not going to cover this. Well, where do you where do you actually put it? Mm-hmm. One solution for them, and one solution that the people in favor of censorship might accept, is what is called the the red light district solution. Just create an area that is adult. Which I'm not online. Yeah. So there is a fenced area where everything that is adult goes in. Red light district solutions don't work either because you're just separating sexuality from, which is one of the main facts of life, from life. Yeah, and then like how do you determine like what needs to go in that space? And what does that even mean? That There's some kind of gateway that you have to verify your age and then you go. I mean, the, the minister, one of the ministers of, I don't know if culture or technology, one of the ministers of government in france she just said let's just have a credit card people have to put in their credit card and there might be a one euro charge or no charge but they had to put the credit card to go into the pornographic website well okay and she said this is not the best solution but it's the only one we have Mm -hmm. that's what she said yeah children don't have credit cards so therefore if you have a credit card you can go in well that opens a whole kind of worms in terms of free speech and how you connect and privacy. Mm-hmm. So now your porn consumption is going to be connected to 
Yeah, there's a lot of people who are afraid to put down a credit card because they don't want their name attached to anything pornographic. And there's also like people who believe that, you know, if they sign up, I mean, I've had emails from several people who are like, oh, I'd sign up for your website or this website, but I, but I know that like, if I do that, I'll get all of these like viruses. Like literally the porn sites themselves are dirty and will infect your computer with viruses that like, we just had like these viruses that are just like sitting on our site. The minute like you log in, we're just gonna like infect your computer. It's so bizarre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, and it's also a circular argument because, you know, this is the same that happens with the with the retail stores. It's called it's a circular argument. They call it secondary harms, the doctrine of secondary harms. So they say uh, you can't put a sex shop downtown. You had to you, you zone the city so that you cannot put those places there. So the sex store opens in the outskirts of the town which is dangerous. And so they're like, oh, see, there is all this crime happening there. So that's the reason you can't put the sex shop downtown. I'm like, no, we put it there in the first place because you wouldn't let us put it there. Yeah, but look, now it correlates to crime. So it's the same thing. Because you put it in a place that was already had crime issues. Yeah. And so the crime issues just continued yeah. in a place that you would only allow a sex Correct. shop to exist. Correct. Yeah. As, I, I think it's the same thing with like, oh, I don't want to go... I don't want to go to this domain name that is registered in like Cyprus because that could be dangerous. Well, can we register the domain name here in Los Angeles? No, it's a sex site. So yeah, it's the same argument that you're you're seeing a reenactment in the digital world of the discrimination that sex-oriented businesses face in the in the in the real world.